everybody, welcome to another episode of Billy Bad Boys Corp. Here we have third Yankees radio commentator Susan Walden. Thank you for coming on. Of course, it's great to see you. You've called some of the most exciting games in modern Yankees history. What Yankee events stand as your most memorable? Oh boy, I think it would have to be, you weren't born, but 1996, when the Yankees won the World Series, it was the first time in oh. such a long time. And I was standing with George because I came up to say hello to George in the seventh day and he said, you stay here because this is, you know, we can't change anything. And I was right there when we won and I got to see the joy on George Steinbrenner's face. 1996, it was amazing. I think that has to be my favorite of all time. Uh, what players were you closest with? Mm -hmm. um, different in every year. Uh, Ricky Henderson, Dave Winfield, Don Mattingly, and then of course the 90 guys, um, Tina Martinez, Mariano. Um, I'm going to forget somebody and they're going to be mad at me. Um, it was very different. Back then we were really a family. And it, was so, it was tremendous. I think of all my all time favorite has to be has to be Don Mattingly. Uh, you are a third woman in Major League Baseball history to serve as a full time color commentator on a regular basis. Uh, how difficult was it to break into this male dominated field? It's really difficult and really, um, I'm really the first because the others were like the weather girl they wanted to get on and it was kind of a joke. I think I'm really the first one that really has done it every day for all these years. It's it's very tough. You have to um, under, you have to think to yourself, do I have something to contribute that's different from everybody else? And if you do, you just keep going. So it's it's very tough. It's been very tough. Oh, uh, you've been commentating Nick games for eleven seasons now. What season was your favorite? Oh gosh, this will be number thirteen. So um, on the radio, I don't know. I guess it, it had to be two thousand and nine on the radio because um, I was the first woman to ever do a World Series game, and it was history, and it was a team that people really didn't expect to win. Um, the nineties. Was my favorite, but as far as being a radio commentator, to be the first woman ever to do a, a World Series game, um, that was pretty amazing. So that has to be right up there. Last question: What advice would you give to a younger broadcaster? Um, don't ever give up, and whatever they tell you to do, um, do what you think is right. Um, there's an old saying. You don't even know who this is. His name is Spencer Tracy. He was an old movie star, and he used to say, "When you when." You say what advice would you give? Uh, learn your lines, don't jump over the furniture, and tell the truth. If you're a broadcaster, tell the truth. Tell what you see out there, and you can never go wrong as long as you tell the truth. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for asking me.